Hey guys, it's Mike here with Grow Indoors 365. Today is January 29th, Saturday. I hope you are all doing well. Sorry, it's taken me a little bit of time to get back to you guys since the last time I posted. It's definitely been probably a week, maybe a week and a half. I'm not even sure. I haven't even looked at my uh, Grow Indoors 365 YouTube page. It's been quite busy here. Um, but what I what I did want to do is give you a quick update on what's really going on. Now, if you could remember, uh, if you could remember, all of this was the Amazon. And, you know, as usual, when I plant things, it gets overgrown. It just gets crazy here, and that's exactly what was going on. I took everything down. Anything that basically look. You see how the roots come up, guys? This is exactly how it comes up. When I uproot from within the clay pebbles, this is what happens, okay? And that's that. So that's what happened to those plants. Took everything. Now, for everybody that's been watching, my, um, you know, my, my frequent viewers, you guys know that I did two previous episodes in regards to how to go about cloning. You know, this is where I'm at with the cloning. Boom, boom, and guess what? I just looked today and we are in such good shape. I literally have rooting, okay? So these two guys, as soon as I'm done cleaning these three, these will get fresh tubs put in probably today. And look what I have here, guys. I've been talking about this for probably a year and a half, okay? You probably, whoa, probably don't know what this is. You probably don't know what this is. And I think I, I personally don't know what this is, but I think I do. It's, it's my uh, lemon mint balm or something like that. It's like a lemony, it's gonna be incredible. I've had it before, I've, I've and it's these little, little seeds. That's why there's gonna be so many in each one. Let me do a little close up here. By the way, I am using a new camera. Let's see if we can see a difference. This is a 4K camera. I'm not sure if I wanna keep it or not, but we'll see the difference in quality it actually comes up here are the two little guys right here everything needs water right now I will put I will fix everything up today but I'm I get that you know I, I always knew that this guy he felt the strike really strong and he's doing so well I mean it's incredible and um, the cloning process totally worked I mean as you can see right there you can see that beautiful root right there okay I just got to get some fresh water in there, get the, get the water really high up, and then literally in the next week, I, I think that the plants will be this high. Okay, it's gonna, be, it's gonna be awesome. I mean, this stem was actually larger than this stem from the start, but both of them are just really nice. Very nice aroma, uh, they're very bouncy, uh, and the stems are holding up very well. And of course, we do have root development um, directly through the growing mediums, which is the most important part of the process. We now know that we have established root growth. We now know that these two are 100% living and 100% healthy, which is the most important part. Let's get back to what's fun over here. Uh, those three are actually watermelon, okay? As crazy as that sounds, I am doing hydroponic watermelon. Okay, I've already, I'm already rooted too. These have been, this, this is why I haven't done videos because I really wanted to shoot some good detailed content that um, that's in this stage, you know? Okay, these, these guys all here, carrots. <laughs> I joke you not, these are all carrots, okay? And then this is like my lemony mint, which I'm very excited about. So I'm pretty stoked about these carrots. They some of them have rooted too. They're, most of them are probably a day away from rooting completely, but I think in the, uh, today is when everything will get its place inside of its own reservoir. Now, um, how do I do this? Okay, let me take you into the the other tent. If you guys remember. I have this other secondary tent. I'm, I'm not gonna look in there. I don't even wanna look in there, okay? You see what's going on in there? I have some excellent growth. And I'm gonna show you that in just one second. And I'm gonna tell you the importance of growing with an LED light that I knew about, but I didn't follow my own rules and I paid the price, all right? So once again, the basil's doing well. 
I got the mint growing, I got hydroponic carrots that are about to happen, and I'm probably gonna have its own reservoir for the three watermelons, okay? Let's go to the LED grow room. Okay, we're about to go into the, I'm about to show you the LED grow room, but I wanted to show you this, okay? These are UV protection glasses. If, guys, I'm not even kidding you, if you do not wear these, you will ruin your eyes, okay? So probably approximately two weeks ago, a week and a half ago, when I actually set the tent up over there and I, and I said, you know what, I'm, I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna do the experiment, I'm gonna see. I also have uh, like five watermelons growing in dirt right now. And I have, I think like maybe like six carrots growing in dirt in the LED tent. Now what I decided to do, I said, you know what, I'm going to just open up the tent, do my thing like I usually do, no problem. When I opened that tent, I turned on that light, the light was so powerful and I just, I didn't even look at the light. I looked at the light like surrounding the area. My eyes had blurry vision for like three days. And I thought I thought I actually, you know, physically impaired myself to a point of no return. But thank God, um, everything was fine, okay? Please, I'm gonna leave the link down below for these. They come with two different lenses Okay, the link is down below. By the way, everything that I use that you need to use, all the links are down below, okay? For growing mediums, for the reservoirs, which are, I was told online that they're actually discontinued. They're no longer making these, so make sure you grab these if you're into these, okay? The net pods, the tubing, especially this, okay? The air pump, the most quiet, the most important part, basically, of your entire grow is this thing to provide the oxygen to your plants through the water you need this this right here okay make sure you hit the links down below to grab everything that i'm using this tent this k this uh the storage container right here everything the clay pebbles everything all right anyway um the link is down below for this i might even do a review on something that i find online about these and how important they are to the eyes but they're also interchangeable like they came with two different lenses very easily interchangeable but the most important aspect is that I actually like the green because it actually protects your eyes a little more than than the other one. All right, let's do this. So also, I actually keep this. I don't know if you can see this. It's gonna be a little dark right here. I keep this on this little this little lock, okay? Because my cats like to get into my tents, and you know I, I actually don't know what an LED light can do to a cat's eyes. So I gotta protect my cats. All right, so check it out. Here we are. I'm not sure if you can see this, okay? But I'm I'm certainly not taking off my, my glasses. So I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I got eight carrots, and I have five. Uh, I have five watermelons. So I'm gonna water this today, and I'm prob probably gonna have to add but we're gonna have to add more dirt. Okay, I use a specific type of dirt. I also got it, um, I forgot where I got it, but I'll probably f figure it out and provide the link down below. I really like it. It looks like it's germinating things really well. Um, it's not like the finest consistency. It's got some chips in it, which are pretty good. But overall, I think it's doing a good job. And the light is, you know, honestly, uh, let me see here. These carrot, the tops are a bit I don't know, through the glasses, they look greener. Um, I'm not sure if there's a huge difference, but let me see here. I definitely need more dirt, but it seems like some of them are, are getting top heavy due to the fact that the light is fairly far away from this, from this little situation here. But I mean, look, the sun is really far away from plants. Okay, so I don't know. I'm just testing this out. I want to see what's up, but uh, it looks like the uh, watermelons are doing really well. I got five in here. This is going to be incredible. It's going to be hilarious. But uh, guys, when you're in your grow tent with the LED light, make sure you are wearing your protective eye gear. Okay. But let me tell you something about this light. And also the link is down below for everything. This light, it actually keeps really cool. That's one thing that I realized about this LED light, the Mr. Kwan. Um, Every time I put my hand in here, there's no fan in here. 
and I think that the uh, the growing environment is much cooler and much nicer. Like the, the humidity control as well as temperature is really, really well maintained by this light due to the fact that it's got a fan up top, okay, and it's got its ventilation all across the entire perimeter of this capsule, okay. They call it the UFO because obviously it resembles a UFO, but as you can see here, I'm not sure if I showed you guys in this type of light how it looks. We got the power light going through here. There's the power button and it's kind of suspended from the top by these clamps. Okay, and that's, that's it. All right, so let me just jump back over here real quick. And, and that's it. All right, I just wanted to give you guys a quick update. I'll probably update you guys in the next uh, week or so. I'm also, I have some new seeds coming my way. I got some beautiful lettuce. I've been uh, really, uh, Looking forward to some like romaine, good little romaine lettuce. So I got some of that. Um, I also, I ordered some lavender. And I'm gonna try some indoor lavender, see how it smells because I'm all, all you know, I mean, summer's around the corner. Spring is around the corner. And it's gonna get here much faster than we know. And I wanna plant some lavender. I really wanna know, does it smell, cause I use lavender oils all the time in like a diffuser, okay? In my bedroom, and around my house. I love the smell, good smells. So I'm gonna see if uh, growing uh, indoor lavender makes sense and how we could actually use it and, uh, and we'll go from there. But a lot more to come guys. This is just the, again, the beginning of small things. I'm so excited for this stuff. The carrots and watermelon, I mean like it's like mind boggling. I cannot wait to see real development. I also have peppers and tomatoes coming too because I talked to uh, someone online and they say that you could basically uh, they pollinate themselves. You know, I've tried peppers before, you know, shaking them and everything, and it didn't work out too well, but, but, um, um, we'll see. All right, guys, make sure you hit the links down below, guys. This is Mike with Grow Indoors 365, and I'll talk to you guys soon.